All right, joining us now with more, Wyoming Senator John Barrasso. And by the way, apparently ready to make an announcement. Senator, I'm told you have told nobody about this coming announcement. Uh, we're glad you chose this show. Welcome back. It's great to have you. We love the people of Wyoming, except maybe we're a little mad at the Cheneys, but short of that, we like everyone else. Um, what do you got? What's, uh, what's on the agenda tonight? Well, the people of Wyoming, and of course, all your viewers know that the country was much better off under President Donald Trump, and Joe Biden continues to fail America. You know, when President Trump was in office, we had the best economy in my lifetime. In most of our lifetime, we had uh, energy independence. Our enemies feared us, and we had a secure border. And now under Joe Biden, we have high prices. We have a wide open border. This, what's happened at the border, the surrender at the border has allowed 8 million illegal immigrants into the country. Joe Biden goes and begs our enemies for fuel and energy. This is a disaster. We cannot afford another four years of Joe Biden's failure. So if you want to get the country back on track, which is what I want to do, we need a strong Republican conservative House and Senate, and we need Donald Trump back in the White House. And that's why tonight I am endorsing Donald Trump for president of the United States. Well, we appreciate you picking our show to, to tell people. Um, I will tell you this. You know, it's interesting because I get asked a lot of questions by people about Donald Trump. And, and why does he fight so much? Why does he fight so much? And he has a good answer, I think. And it's that, well, if he didn't fight, he wouldn't survive, number one. But his real fight is on the issues you're talking about. This is a guy that is going to fight for the things that work, fight for a better economy, free and fair trade deals, secure borders, energy independence. There wasn't any one of those issues when he was president that was an easy lift. What do you make of the never-ending, nonstop, unrelenting attacks and, and now the use of the legal system now attempts to—he's to, never been charged with— with insurrection, but they want to say, take them off the ticket. They don't even want people to have a chance to vote for them. How's that going to play out? Uh, very poorly for them, well for President Trump. They cannot continue to do this. It's not working for them. They know Joe Biden is a weak president. But on the bigger question of are you better off now than you were four years ago, people overwhelmingly are worse off now than they were four years ago, which is why Americans are turning to Donald Trump for president. He is the person. Joe Biden has done massive damage to this country, to our border, to our economy, to our standing in the world. He is weak. He's not up to the job. When I look at Donald Trump, and I was with him in Afghanistan, visiting the troops Thanksgiving of 2019, this was a commander in chief who was loved and respected by the troops. And he was feared by our enemies. And you get Joe Biden, no. he's a pushover. They understand that. So the Democrats, they wanted to impeach him day one when he became president. They've never gotten over the fact that he defeated Hillary Clinton. And he had me as the chair of his platform committee at the convention. Like the New York Times called it the most conservative Republican platform in 100 years. And I don't think they meant it as a compliment. The policies worked for Donald Trump. They're afraid of him. He needs to be back in the White House. And that's why I'm endorsing him tonight. And I will tell you, Joe Biden as president actually scares me now. I really, you, you can see how compromised he is cognitively. And, you know, you ask the question, are you better off than you were four years ago? I, I intellectually, honestly, I can't think of a single policy that he is, he has been supporting that's working. Uh, Senator, great to see you. We do love the people of Wyoming. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.